in new covenant we give like abraham gave not with law mentality but with supply mentality god has already made me rich jesus has already made me prosperous jesus has already made me son of abraham jesus has already made me heir of god son of living god so i give because god has prospered me are you able to relate now how much should i give now that is another question how much revelation you have that much you give <laughs> i said how much revelation you have that much you give it's all about the understanding if you have revelation then you give if you don't have revelation you don't give if you believe you are seed of abraham then you give because you will think my father did this let me do this isaac did this let me do this if you have the revelation it depends on your revelation amen when you don't understand i am seed of abraham you will say oh i am uh, why should i give it's there in the old testament you are not able to relate yourself to abraham you are not able to relate yourself to jacob when you are not able to relate you will not give you are not able to relate to the revelation you will say i am not understanding how much revelation you have every individual he gives his time he gives his money he gives his energy he gives his love to god based on how much revelation he has if he has more revelation of god's love he gives more love to the people whom he interacts he has more revelation of god's giving he gives to others he has more revelation of god's forgiveness he forgives others if he or she has more revelation of god's laws principles about the covenant of increase he follows if he is not following it's only because he has not understood there is no revelation and when there is no revelation he is not able to understand supply mentality it becomes demand mentality when it becomes demand it becomes law and it does not profit they give with law mentality and they say i have not prospered it is not law mentality you are saying god has supplied i am i am so blessed so let me give so very very important the way you think it is not the action of your giving it is the attitude of your giving always have supply mentality like abraham say i am the seed of abraham so i do what abraham did now let us see you decide for yourself what new covenant church should follow what we should follow let's go through the message show them the next verse let's go through this beautiful story genesis 45:26 they told him joseph is still alive in fact he is ruler of all egypt jacob was stunned he did not believe them now let me give you this beautiful story from this let us all arrive and conclude as new covenant believers what we must do and how by following the principle of covenant of increase we can manifest in our lives amen this is the story of joseph joseph was sold as a slave by his brothers because they were jealous to egypt what happens to the seed of abraham seed of abraham cannot be down <laughs> he cannot be below he will always be above he will be the head and not the tail he will not be a borrower but a lender he will not be a slave but a ruler that's what happens to the seed of abraham now this joseph is in egypt now he becomes the ruler of egypt his brothers come and meet him because there was scarcity of food in canaan land where jacob now who is jacob those of you who don't know abraham's son isaac isaac's son jacob now jacob's son joseph now joseph is the ruler of egypt now jacob is there with the other 11 sons and one daughter in canaan land now one son whom they sold the brothers has become ruler in egypt 
these brothers come to him for food when they see joseph they don't recognize him because he looks different his dressing is different hair is different he looks like egyptian they are unable to recognize him so now joseph reveals to them i'm not getting into the story you can do the homework in the book of genesis you can read genesis 44 45 you can read that beautiful story now joseph reveals he is their brother and he wants to provide now these brothers the other 11 brothers what there is a back story where he holds back one brother i have i don't want to get into that uh, those of you who want to know the back story there is my message called jesus our elder brother it's a beautiful sermon you all can listen to that the title is jesus our elder brother in that i'm bringing out the story of joseph and his brothers so here we see that the brothers go back and tell the father now father is very upset he always loved joseph why probably joseph looked like rachel jacob always loved rachel and the bible says joseph was born when jacob was very old so he loves uh, jacob uh, joseph very much now joseph is sold and his heart is grieving he's very sad over the years that his son joseph is dead now all of a sudden there is famine and brothers go to egypt they find out joseph is alive and he's ruler of egypt they come back and they tell to jo- jacob joseph is still alive he's the ruler when they say what the bible says jacob did not believe jacob did not believe now let us see next verse show them the next verse and they told him all the words of joseph which he had said unto them could you all read this after me online audience please read this with me and when he saw the wagons which joseph had sent to carry him the spirit of jacob their father revived it says the spirit of their father revived when jacob's uh, spirit revived when he saw the wagons brothers came and gave the excitement the news of excitement they said father joseph is alive and he is the ruler of egypt father did not believe he was not amused he was like okay the bible clearly says he did not believe the bible says but when he saw so he came out of the tent and he saw the wagons sent by joseph when he saw the wagons his spirit revived amen church can you please say his spirit revived his spirit revived why his spirit revived why what he saw in the wagons he saw the gold and silver and sheep and cattle and he was very excited with abundance is jacob that man that gets excited just looking at some prosperity <laughs> there has to be something i was asking holy spirit for a revelation i said holy spirit there has to be something for this why looking at wagons when they told your son is alive he didn't believe the minute he saw the wagons his spirit revived what did he see in the wagons are you all excited what he saw excited yes let's see what he saw in the wagons show them the next verse and he sent to his father these things 10 donkeys loaded with the good things of egypt and 10 female donkeys loaded with grain bread and food for his father for the journey amen so jacob saw 10 donkeys he saw 10 female donkeys he saw there was all of good of egypt in the donkeys so when he saw this his spirit revived why donkeys have very special meaning in the bible donkeys are like work horse and at that period of time they were very expensive commodity and they, and there was also a promise zechariah chapter 9 verse number 9 he shall come on a donkey's colt when the first coming of jesus happened he came on a donkey when the second coming happens he comes on a riding horse why on a donkey this holy spirit gave this revelation to me 
PPA commentary. <laughs> Why on a donkey? Because in the first coming, Jesus came as a laborious working donkey. He was working out the salvation plan, redemption plan of the Father. He was working tirelessly. He came on a donkey on a Palm Sunday. Now, when the second coming of Jesus happens, he is not coming as a working horse. He is coming as a warrior. Amen. He is coming on a horse as a warrior. Amen. Now, what are these ten donkeys? Ten donkeys, Jacob saw that Abraham took Isaac to Mount Moriah. On which animal they rode? Isaac went on a donkey. Why? Isaac represents Jesus. <laughs> to sacrifice on Mount Moriah, Jesus came to be sacrificed on Mount Moriah after thousands of years. Later, amen. So, the donkey here is 10. My number here is 10, the focus number. Why 10 donkeys do you think Jacob sent, Joseph sent? Abraham had learned from Holy Spirit the principle of tithing to Melchizedek. Abraham taught that to Isaac and Isaac had taught that to Jacob. But when it became a personal revelation to Jacob, your church teaches you, your pastor teaches you, your parents teaches you, but it has to become your revelation, your personal revelation. So Jacob was taught, but yet it became personal revelation to him at one point. I will show that next. So when Jacob saw the ten, he understood. This ten can come only from a seed of Abraham. Amen. It has to be my son. It cannot come from an Egyptian. It cannot come from a heathen. Amen. So the minute he saw ten donkeys, he said, this is my son. I have taught him well. And he has followed. He has become ruler. And he has sent me the tenth of Abraham everything that the best of Egypt has as a tithe so that I can offer the offering and go back to my son. Amen. The minute he saw 10 wagons, he said, this is my son. His spirit revived. What revived him is, my son is alive and it is my son, a covenant man. And most importantly, he honors my God. Amen. That's the greatest joy to any parent when your child honors your God. Amen. He said he's honoring my God. That means all these years he has not followed the ways of Egyptians. Though he is in Egypt, though he is in the world, he is not of the world. <laughs> New Testament scripture. Though you are in the world, dear church, though we are in the world, we are not of the world. We are of the kingdom of our dear son. We don't follow the patterns of the world. We don't follow things of world. We have a pattern of the Bible. Amen. Though Joseph was in Egypt, he followed the covenant principles. You can be a blessing by partnering with Priya Abraham Ministries to share this good news. To partner, visit priyaabraham.org slash partner. This excerpt is brought to you by PriyaAbraham.org. To get the full message, visit PriyaAbraham.org.